All right, there are signs that the humidity will break up a little bit towards the end of the week, but very hot and humid in the meantime. Let's take a look at our records for today. Today, 96 is our record set in 1918. So far, our high temperature is 93. Tomorrow, we have a decent chance of breaking that high temperature record. The record is 95. That was set in 2001. My forecast is fairly close to that record high temperature. Right now, we're sitting at 92 in Providence, 89 in Smithfield, a little cooler in Newport at 85, 89 in New Bedford, and 89 in Westerly. So even the South Coast warmed up quite a bit today. 93 coming in from our weather station in Smithfield. And our heat index, this is basically what it feels like when you factor in the humidity close to 100 degrees across much of our inland area 91 not quite as bad in Newport but still quite hot feeling and 97 as you feel like in Westerly another air quality alert is in effect for tomorrow and as we take a look at our breezes you know these helped out a little bit today but not all that much only 10 miles an hour in Westerly 6 in Newport 10 in Providence these breezes especially by tomorrow afternoon will kick up a little bit more taking just a little bit of an edge off the heat but still very hot and humid. Narragansett Town Beach, it appears this is the place to be. Very, very crowded at this time of the evening and a lot of people sailing here just offshore from North Kingstown. Kind of a steamy look though, isn't it? When you look from this perspective from North Kingstown. High pressure, we can blame this uh, thing right here pumping in that heat and humidity. Now we have a couple fronts on the way midweek, one coming in tomorrow night, but it's a weak front. It's not really enough to punch that high pressure or the humidity completely out of the way. Tomorrow evening would be the best chance to see a shower thunderstorm. I do think tomorrow daytime remains dry. And then it's Wednesday where we have a slightly better chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And some of those showers and storms could spill into very early on Thursday morning. So tomorrow hot again, 93 by around one o'clock in the afternoon, 87 at 5 p.m. The winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15, maybe a few gusts of 20 or 25 at the south coast. I think most people not much some of those gustier winds moving in by tomorrow afternoon, but they do take a while to get going. And because I think those sea breezes come in a little bit stronger and a little bit earlier tomorrow, I think a lot of our coast will be in the low to mid 80s while inland spots once again in the low to mid 90s. So I think at the beach it's a little cooler, not much, but maybe a little bit than what we had today. Uh, temperatures on average low to mid 80s with mostly sunny skies and on the water, obviously very hot, sunny, uh, high tide on the way uh, coming in late tomorrow afternoon, low tide 947 tomorrow morning with breezes getting going especially by the afternoon out of the southwest with some gusts of around 25 knots. So just keep that in mind if you're heading out on the water tomorrow. So I talked about the humidity and obviously oppressive, demoralizing, whatever you want to call it for the next several days, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, Friday, I cannot put you in the refreshing category as much as I'd like to do that, but I can lower you to the muggy category so it gets a little bit better. But by the weekend, the humidity does try to make a comeback. Seven day future cast shows the showers and storms on the way for Wednesday. Most of these coming in Wednesday after afternoon through Wednesday evening and then on Thursday I think most of the showers are over with on uh, Thursday morning so by Thursday afternoon very hot and sticky once again Friday a little less humid but still warm temperatures in the mid 80s and then on Saturday mid 80s with mostly sunny skies fairly humid we are looking at the chance for some showers and thunderstorms moving in on Sunday potentially into Monday as well but right now next weekend does not look like a washout so I know we'd love to bring in that more refreshing air mass we cannot do that and you know who likes humidity the morning crew, Michelle Muscatello. Really? Really, they do? I'm actually not sure about that. I just made that up. <laughs> but she'll be with you to forecast your weather uh, tomorrow as we'll be tracking more heat and humidity and the potential for some stronger thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon. This muggy weather, it does nothing for our hair. I don't know if you guys deal with that sometimes. And we're past muggy. We're in the oppressive category. Yeah, yeah, oppressive will be ugh, just terrible. Brutal. Eventually, we'll get out of that oppressive category. Just no yeah. time soon. All right, thanks, Pete. Yep. More coverage you can count on. Still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Caught on camera. Fiery rescue as police pull a man from a burning car. And coming up new at 530, the department.